Acne Mythbusters with Dr. Harold Lanzer. Chocolate causes acne. Usually it's fiction because it depends on the quality of the chocolate. If it's really good stuff, high cocoa content, it's really dark chocolate, usually it's good for you. It'll help the acne as well as a variety of other things. Is what you eat directly correlated to how your skin looks? Diet has a huge influence in terms of how your skin looks, whether it's acne or anti-aging. Does the birth control pill prevent acne? Taking the birth control pill can help control acne in some women, but in general, you should really consult with your general physician or gynecologist before doing that. Does dairy consumption lead to problem skin? Dairy products in general can contribute to difficulty in controlling acne. The inflammatory components that are part of dairy intake can really make acne more difficult to treat. Will eating greasy food lead to greasy skin? It could, and the reason is that when you have a high fat, high salt, sort of unbalanced diet, it can really be stressful to the body's immune system and make acne much more difficult to control. Does sunscreen cause breakouts? Sunblocks and sunscreens um, could contribute to acne, but it depends on the vehicle. Sometimes the more oily preparations will, will likely cause that in people who are acne prone. Does washing your face more lead to cleaner skin? Although it might sound like a good idea, it's probably a bad idea. The skin has a tendency to rebound and get too dry and chafed and irritated. Do household products such as toothpaste or ice cubes, for example, help target problem spots? In general, you should try to avoid those. And why is that? When you try those household products, it can sometimes lead to burns, uh, irritations, and then you get some other problem replacing the blemish. What's the one thing you should do for that one killer pimple? For that special occasion and one killer pimple, I think that warm compresses, warm cloth compresses to try to soften it, maybe get it to open by itself until you see your dermatologist, that's the best move. So there you have it, Acne Mythbusters with Dr. Harold Lanzer. Thanks for watching Bella TV. And stay beautiful.